Hey guys, Cast72. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, today I want to share a video on you guys for the Up Air 1. In particular, this is going to be for the model. Uh, let me get this for you guys just to make sure we're, we're all on the same page here. This is going to be for the Up Air 2 PX4, which was uh, manufactured and sent out as version 1.2.00. Now the reason why I'm mentioning that is because there's something unique that I found out about this drone and there's going to be another video to see what the results are on that. I'll get to more I'll give more on that in a minute. What I want to share today guys is there's not a whole lot of videos out there that show you how to recalibrate the gimbal uh, to factory standard or how to recalibrate the controller to factory standard. And I'm going to share that with you guys today. Um, so the part that's interesting to me is that in the process of trying to figure out what the proper button configuration was to reset the controller um, and the gimbal, I came across being able to readjust and reset the camera uh, quality. And it turns out that this gimbal was supposed to only be 2K, but I found out that I can activate it as 4K, and I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Now, I'll do another video because I'm curious to see if there's really a difference between the 2K and 4K um, configuration when you set it through the controller. And it's one of two things I'm thinking. It's either one, the factory, the, the, the system board that the factory sent out the gimbals with, which was the 2K and 4K, have in the logic the script and the program uh, command line to initiate either 2K or 4K, and it could just be possibly that they did send the 2K camera out, but it initiates the 4K um, command, although you're not going to get 4K because it's a 2K camera. Or it could be that somewhere along the line someone messed up and I ended up getting a 4K camera and that's why I'm able to uh, um, uh, I'm able to program that feature, which is um, 4K. So all that will come together in the video here shortly. You'll understand what I'm talking about. So with that being said, again, I'm going to demonstrate how to recalibrate your controller back to factory and recalibrate the gimbal back to factory. In my case, um, I noticed that when I would power on my drone, the gimbal um, almost sound as if, it, if it, uh, as if it was twitching, kind of like the motor was still activated, even though it was already set to spe a specific position. So once I did the calibration, that problem went away. Um, so I know these work. And like I said, you don't see any videos on YouTube indicating how to demonstrate or demonstrating, I should say, and how to calibrate both the controller and the gimbal, and that's what we're going to do today. And not to mention how to activate the 2K or 4K feature um, through the controller, and then later I'll do a video on the difference between the two and see if there's even a change in the quality of the, of the video. Okay, so with enough of that being said, let's go ahead and get the process started. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, let's let's get on it. Okay guys, so I'm going to want to start with the easiest first and that's going to be to change the quality of the camera um, through the controller. Now, um, again, just so we're all on the same page, this I'm assuming will only work for this particular drone with this uh, specific firmware version which is going to be, again, like I said, version 1.2.00, and it's for the Up Air 2 PX4. You can get that information by opening up the battery case and looking up at the system board, and they put it right there so you can see exactly which version you have. So, just to show you that Um, it does initiate a 4K uh, camera, even though when I bought this, apparently it's only supposed to be a 2K camera. 
Um, so let's see what happens here. And to get that initiated, um, go ahead and power, make sure your antennas are installed, obviously, power on your controller. Hopefully the lighting's good, guys. Okay, and then go ahead and power on your drone. And I want to show you this. So at this point, what you're going to want to do, once your drone is on, okay, you see where it says 4K? I had already left it in that position. Let me see if you can catch that on the camera. I might have to zoom in. Hang on. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to zoom in. There we There we go. So you can see where it says 4K, okay? Right here. So when I was messing around with the button configurations trying to figure out how to calibrate the controller, I realized the way you initiate this is you have to hold down the picture button, not the camera, the picture button and your screen's gonna flash green, and then you'll notice that that changes. And I think there's three options. So if you hold it down, there. See how, I'm sorry, it, it, last time I did it, the screen blinked green, now it didn't. But anyway, you see where it says 2K? When I took it out of the box and powered it on for the first time, that's where it was set. So as you can see, it changed to 2K. If I hold it down again, again, the camera button, hold it down. There it goes, it blinked green that time. It's at 2.7K, okay? If I hold it down again, there's 4K. Now I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to test this out later on another video and see if it, there's actually a 4K difference between the 2.7K and the 4K. Again, I didn't see any videos out there demonstrating this, so I'm sharing that with you guys today because I found that out accidentally. Again, it's holding down the camera button um, until you see the screen flicker, or if it doesn't flicker, you'll notice that that changes from 4K to 2K to 2.7K. So that's that. So with that being done, let's go ahead and shut everything down. Um, it's always controller drone, drone controller in that sequence when it comes to um, power. So let's go ahead and power this guy off. Okay. So that demonstrated how to change the quality of the camera, even though this drone was supposed to come with just a 2K, um, or 2.7K, I, sh I should say. Okay, so next we're gonna do the controller. Okay, guys, and for the controller, make sure that the two antennas are plugged in, of course, and Make sure that the, uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't have it completely off. That's what startled me there. Anyway, make sure your antennas are on um, before applying power. Make sure that the left toggle switch is in the up position and your thumb controls, make sure that one is down uh, and to the right and the other one is up and to the left while you're applying power. What's going to happen is it's going to start beeping. Um, so you apply power to it. There you go. At this point, go ahead and start adjusting the controls by going to the left, 
right, top right, bottom right, top left, bottom left. Make sure you move them all the way around. Okay, same with the other side. Bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right. Move the toggles all the way around. Make sure they go to the center. Go ahead and move your toggles, the right toggle from top, center, bottom, top, center, bottom. It doesn't matter how many times you do it, as long as you initiate it once. Left toggle, bottom up. Tap the camera button once. Tap the, uh, tap the uh, video camera button once. At this point, go ahead and hold the two together. And, at, okay, that, that, that resolves the calibration. Now to go ahead and get out of the calibration. Oh, and one more thing. Bring the camera toggle all the way down. Camera toggle all the way up. You can do that a few times if you want. Once all that's needed, but you can do it a couple of times. Now, um, basically all you're doing is moving all toggles and switches uh, so that the controller can re reassign and reconfigure them back to standard, to factory. Uh, that's basically all we're doing here. Okay, once you've done that, uh, to get out of the calibration, go ahead and hold the camera and the um, record button. Okay, hold them together simultaneously and you'll hear a beep. There you go. That That's... That's done now. You've already calibrated the controller. Okay? So next, we're going to go ahead and do the gimbal. And let me go ahead and shut this off. And we'll go ahead and do the gimbal next. Okay, guys. And to calibrate the gimbal, make sure that the... Um, left toggle is in the down position. Make sure that the right toggle is in the altitude hold, which is all the way up position. And what you're going to do is hold this unit, I mean, I'm sorry, this thumb control down and to the right. And power on, it should start beeping. Okay. And when it's doing that, let it come all the way up. And go ahead and turn on the drone. And there you go. See how it stopped? It's calibrated. And that's pretty much how you do both, like I said, the... Um, the controller, recalibration to factory, and the gimbal. And of course, like I said, I found out how to change this to 4K, 2.7K, and 2K. Now the next video I make, guys, is gonna be me testing out the two video um, choices and see if there's actually a change in that or if there's a quality difference. Um, as I said before, it could be that I got lucky and I do have a 4K camera on there, or it could just be the logic um, mapping system, uh, written code was, uh, sent out as such with that firmware. However, the system will set the command for the 4K video, right? But obviously if the 4K camera is not on there, you won't get that function. So, okay, that settles that. So guys, hope this helps you all out. Those of you that have an Up Air One drone, um, I've got some flight footage coming up pretty soon. So um, looking forward to that. And as always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by and watching. Peace out, guys.